We're talking about the commercials during the Super Bowl. Okay, so at $5 million for 30 seconds, it is a high-stakes competition. Joining us this morning is Professor Derek Rucker from Northwestern's Kellogg School of Management to talk about the ads. Nice Thank you. Thank you for having me, yeah. Okay, so this is the 14th year the school has been tracking these ads. What are you looking for when you're, when you're watching? Yeah, so what we're always looking at is we want to be entertained, but we want to be more than entertained, we want to see strategic value. So yeah. that these $5 million for 30 seconds actually build the brand. They do something that will hopefully stimulate interest in sales. So you've got a list okay. here. I think the top three is what we're going to go through now. And you say this first one, Amazon, is no surprise to you. Let's yes. take a look. In Austin, it's 60 degrees with a chamber. <laughs> Alexa? Amazon's Alexa lost her voice this morning, causing a Alexa wave. lost her voice. How is that even possible? We have the replacements ready. Just say the word. And you're sure this is going to work? Yeah. Alexa, show me a recipe for a grilled cheese sandwich. Pathetic. You're 32 years of age, and you don't know how to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Its name is the recipe, you Alexa, how far is Mars? Oh, how far is Mars? Well, how am I supposed to know? I've never been there. This guy want to go to Mars. <laughs> for what? <laughs> There's not even oxygen there. Alexa, set the mood. Huh. Oh, this one. And, and you notice here, like, so, of course, we're laughing. It's yeah, entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But brand is focal the entire time. It's showing you what Alexa can do, showing you if we didn't have her, who would we have? Yeah. Huh. So that's the difference between just pure entertainment and actually having some strategy that links to the brand. Okay. All right. Well, the next one you want to talk about, Doritos, always a big always, one. Okay, yes, so they always do well. We're going to take a look at it first. Quiet! Hush your mouth. I told your mother... Y'all can stop me now. Listen to me now. I'm lasting 20 rounds. And if you want me, then come on, get me now. Is you with me now? The biggie, biggie bounce. I know you think that. Let's go! Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away. Better know that I don't and I won't ever stop. Gets your attention for oh, sure. Man. Massive, One of my favorites. massive, and you can see the product is there at the beginning, right? The fire and ice, so it's Drew's Blaze, Mountain Dew Ice. So ah. they're making very close connections with the brands. And this is one, although we focus on what they do online or on the game, they also did a great example, a great job promoting this throughout social media. Yeah, it's huh. a really good one. I just saw this one today, actually. I missed it last night. Okay. Do we have avocados from Mexico? Are we going to see that one? We sealed the bad out and kept the good in. We have everything we ever wanted. Um, we have all these avocados from Mexico, but where are the chips? The chips are outside. The chips are outside? <laughs> wait, wait! <laughs> okay, that's funny. It's one of my yeah. favorite, too. So, great laughs, entertaining, and here's the strategist hat for you. What you'll notice is they've got avocados, they don't have chips. That seems like a massive right. problem. Where they end is they show you all the other things you can do with avocados. So yeah. basically, they're a big player in the category. They just want consumers to use more avocados. Ah. So, so there's, a, there's a strategy behind it right. beyond the entertainment value. Okay, all That's right. what we look Practical yeah. value at the very end. Exactly. Okay, so we're going to jump to some of the least effective Yeah, ads. people who maybe should have kept that $5 million in their pockets, <laughs> right? So that's expensive to have a, not a very effective ad. So we're talking about Squarespace. Yes. We're going to take a look at that. You are an important person, a unique creature. Yeah. So what, what happened here? So that happens to be uh, Keanu Reeves. And so Keanu, oh, wow. I, I loved his work in The Matrix. Right. But for this ad, you lose the connection with the brand. If we weren't here talking about it being a bad ad, people <laughs> would have no idea. People would have no idea. Yeah. And even people said, what is Squarespace and what do they do? And that's an example of you had an opportunity to educate, inform, or persuade the consumer, and instead you just showed them some ads. Mm. T Mobile, let's take a look. Welcome to the world, little ones. Yeah, it's a lot to take All right, in. What do you think? Cute babies. Yeah. So if you remember this one, this is one, they, they're adorable babies, and they're talking about how there's. Um, there's no judgment when you're born, et cetera, race, which all sounds great. And at the very end, they say, oh, by the way, T-Mobile's like that. <laughs> and the average person watching doesn't make the connection, right? right. So we call this a linkage problem. Oh, you're going to remember the cute babies. You're not going to no, remember, gonna remember what company that Bingo. was. Yeah. Okay, Bingo. Lecture, what would happen here? You know, this is one where I think this is really interesting. as a provocative ad, and I think it didn't leave an answer. So what you hope for is that enough people go online to find out what this is. I think this is a new media or entertainment opportunity that will be presented. Yeah. But a lot of people are like, I don't understand it. So that's where if you don't follow through, you've just lost the consumer. I do yeah. remember seeing that ad, yeah. And I, I still don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Don't know what it is or what it's about. Yeah.